Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. It's Hawaii vlog two, um, officially at the end of a chemo week. So starting to feel a lot better here in Hawaii. The warmth really does help. Uh, today we're heading off on a bit of an adventure. So we're gonna go out shortly and just grab some breakfast before we go. Uh, another smoothie bowl, of course, and a, or an acai bowl. Uh, we've been trying out a few different places though. On day one, we went to um, Heavenly Lifestyle, then we went to Sunrise Shack, and today we're going to Aroma at Beachcomber. I might have that name flipped around the other way. Uh, so I'll let you know which one's the best. I definitely want to go back to Sunrise Shack though, because they have quite a few delicious bowls for me to try. But yeah, we're picking up a car today, so let the adventures begin. We made ourselves a vow that we will always take the stairs down and the elevator up. <laughs> Hi, you are a lover of smoothie bowls now, right? Big fan. And what is it about the smoothie bowls that you love so much? It's the honey. It's the honey. So no, he loves all the components, but what's been missing for Ty is just a drizzle of honey. That's it. <laughs> Brings it all together. Brings it all together. So this is a very exciting moment for me. This is my first iced coffee since coming off Oxyfladen. And probably because it was the winter and, and the fall before that, obviously that's how seasons work, Laura. I haven't had one in a really long time. And the first sip, oat milk, it's just so good. Mm. Now we're waiting on acai bowls. We got to pick here like the different toppings. So naturally I went with peanut butter, Ty went with the original, uh, but I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, these look incredible. So mine's like PB kind of dream vibes and then Ty's just got the regular acai. I think I'm gonna steal some of his strawberries, but um, I'm very happy gal. They're all doing a half marathon meanwhile. Yeah. Us. Nothing like a bunch of runners doing a half marathon to make you realize you're on holiday. Hey? <laughs> you're really not there. I'm really not there. And that's <laughs> not what I want to be doing with my day. Although we are going to do uh, hopefully a decent hike today. Uh, going to do Waimea Falls. A lot of the hikes, they kind of, uh, they're listed at sort of like 1.7 to 1.9 kilometers. And it's just kind of not hefty enough for us, but then the jump up it's like 7.9 kilometers and lots of elevation gain. So trying to find that happy medium of getting a hike that's still, we feel like challenging yeah. and it's long enough for us, but then we don't want something too strenuous, especially for me. So a lot of those ones where you can walk in and walk out uh, are the best because we can kind of make it as long as we want. But obviously you want to get the beautiful viewpoints and everything like that. So just finding what's perfect. And we've just been looking on all trails and getting recommendations from people. So. I think we've got a good list of hikes at this point. So we are heading out to pick up our car, which is by the airport. And I mentioned in my last vlog that this is just the most cost effective way to get a car because it's honestly almost quadruple the price to hire a car here in Waikiki. So much cheaper to go out to the airport to hire, but it is a mission to get out there. So it's only like a 20 minute drive but ubers really bump up their price and peak time so at the moment an uber is like 76 dollars us to get out there when the hire of the car is only 61 us per day so obviously that doesn't really make a lot of sense to catch an uber so we're going to catch the bus out there which makes me a little bit nervous because i get a lot of motion sickness on uh, buses trains and um, when i'm not like in the passenger seat or in the driver's seat i, I get really bad motion sickness so we do have the ginger ale that we got um, and I'm just hoping like, you know, all is well. Maybe I can open a window or something like that. But it just makes so much more sense and it's like $10 for us both to catch the bus. So hot tip, hire a car by the airport, catch the bus. Okay, we're finally in the car. It's been quite the morning. Oh, the lighting's a little bit funky. It's been quite the morning. So we ended up, um, we couldn't get on the bus straight away because we didn't have cash. We thought that we could just use our debit or credit cards, but they said you had to go get cash out and then you needed the exact cash. And that was just a whole faff and a fuss. So we missed a few buses and we got there in the end. We picked up our car, happy with the car, you know, obviously had to wait in the queue and all of that kind of stuff. But then we uh, went to 
go charge my phone and I noticed that there wasn't a uh, charging or a USB port. So we were in Target, which was just down the road, picked up a USB port and it didn't work in the car. And because we're traveling quite far away from where we're staying, we're definitely gonna need our phones charged for navigation, for making calls, uh, just always good to have your phone charged if needed. Um, and so that didn't work. So we had to go back and then we had to exchange the car and it was a whole faff. So we're now on the road. So it's about 10 o'clock and we've kind of been on the, on the go since about seven. So we're finally, ready to go on our adventure gonna crank some tunes and get on the road and now we're off to the doll plantation which i'm excited for we've already had the doll whip but more would be awesome plantation now and honestly we didn't stay long when I arrived there I all of a sudden just thought I'm gonna google to see if um, this plantation is uh, like an ethical like has ethical practices and I do understand that a lot of businesses and companies may have started um, unethical and then they've taken steps as time's gone on to be more ethical uh, but yeah I looked it up online just did a Google search and what came back obviously at the top was just lots of advertisements for the doll plantation and positive reviews from TripAdvisor and things like that. Actually there was a lot of negative reviews but the positive is the one that comes up when you look in the Google search uh, but I clicked into it uh, further down and there's lots of uh, like lawsuits that's been filed like across history um, not in the recent years. Uh, I do remember back in 2013 Oxfam actually took um made them take the ethically sourced stickers off their bananas because they weren't sourced ethically and they said that oxfam uh, were trying to defame them so that other banana brands could be boosted in the market which what do oxfam have to gain from that their main purpose is purely just to make sure that the consumer is as informed as possible as to where their food is being sourced from and yeah so I don't know it's one of those things like you always want to be as informed as possible and I don't want to um, support something that uh, you know perhaps is unethical but they're probably ethical now so I'm, I'm not really sure I'm, I'm definitely not an expert at all but it was super overpriced so that was the main reason we decided not to stay we didn't feel like driving around the train it's super hot outside there's like a little train and there's a maze and then also the doll whip and pineapples would just like triple the price so it just wasn't worth it for us but you know maybe if this is something you're interested in you might want to do your own research i certainly want to have a little bit more of a google search about it because that was just such a quick skim sweating in here having a little snacky we're off to the north shore uh gonna hopefully lie on the beach and maybe get some lunch there's so many more uh, like vegan and veggie cafes on the North Shore that are a lot less commercial obviously so we're gonna check them out okay so I know that we said we were gonna make our lunch ourselves we bought all that salad sandwich stuff but I really disliked the vegan mayo that we got and the honey mustard so I don't want a dry argument with my bread and my salad so we're still gonna use all of that stuff up uh, but we might just have to buy well, Ty didn't mind that but we might just have to buy another dressing or um, also just get like some natural peanut butter or something like that so we can still like use up all the bread and everything. So today we've just packed all of our snacks and we are going to get lunch while we're out and then we'll be a little bit more organized for tomorrow's adventure. I was so smug with my decisions like my choices that I made in the supermarket but it was just like there was so much sugar in it it just yeah it was not the one so we're gonna try out one of the vegan veggie spots here but this is the cutest little town. I think this is more what I imagined Hawaii to look like. Ah. So we just stopped at this place called the Cosmic Kitchen and it's all plant based and it's just like a little hole in the wall at the side here we're kind of in this little alley there's chickens running around it's connected to a health food shop super cute uh, and we also drove past all these little food trucks in this area uh, we're on the north shore that uh, it's kind of like a food truck food court we're really excited to check those out 
Uh, as much as possible, I want to try and support these these smaller businesses, like independents, uh, just because, I mean, like it's been a really tough couple of years. And also, I like to support them better. I often find that there's a little bit more love put into the food. Um, and yeah, like when I was looking at places before we came, it's a bit of a the rave happening. Um, when I was looking at places before we came, uh, places that came really highly recommended on uh, TripAdvisor or whatever. When I went to search them on Instagram and have a look at their food, it would say permanently closed and that made me really sad and I, I saw it happening in Vancouver and it's obviously happened all over the world. So wherever possible, supporting small little independents is, um, is always a good choice. Here's the sandwich, pretty beautiful lunch spot. just heading to another beach. We've been here for about an hour. Really enjoying my book so far. Uh, we're gonna move down a little bit further down the coast uh, because this beach doesn't have a lot of shade and the trees are kind of like sparse and as they move, it puts sun directly on my body and it's really nice. I love the feeling of the warmth, but I am quite nervous about the direct sunlight on my skin uh, for long periods of time just because of the chemo. So we're gonna just move down. We just want to explore as well. Do a good like reconnaissance of the area. Love my emo side fringe. How cute. And then um, just park up in different spots. We've been at the beach all afternoon and now we are just popping into like a little kind of shack on the side of the road that's got like acai bowls and shaved ice and ice cream and things like that. So just gonna grab a quick refreshing little something before we explore a little bit further east. Um, it's just such a cool vibe this side of the island like I'm loving it this is definitely more my vibe not that I just like Waikiki at all I think it's great but I just I, I do really enjoy this vibe cool they grow their own acai here so this place is called like farm to table and so they've got like all of the fruit that they use and all of the vegetables that they use which is just like so awesome so we are sharing this little delight is that like a mango -y or a pineapple syrup that looks so good hello oh that that looks really cute I that's completely missed the clip at the back. I'm gonna have to do that again. Sorry if it's distracting. Uh, we just finished up at the, I think uh, it's called uh, Kahuka Farms. I might have that name wrong. I do remember, I'll link it down below. Um, it was really great. Like all of the stuff there is locally sourced. We, we're not that hungry. We just wanted something refreshing, but I definitely think we're gonna stop there for lunch later in the week because everything's just off the farm and just so fresh, which is amazing. Total farm to table. Uh, we decided that we're gonna go on a hike. Originally, we weren't gonna go on a hike because we had a later start to the day and I didn't wanna hike in the heat of the day. But we found one called Pillbox Hike. It's apparently a really steep hike, but it's not very long. So Diamond Head's a pretty steep, steep hike that wasn't very long and, and that was totally fine for me. So we're gonna go check that one out now. Uh, and it's definitely cooled down a little bit. And yeah, so it said it's about 90 minutes. So we'll let you know how it goes. I don't know if you can see this very well and I don't wanna get very close. I just wanna leave her be. But you can see a mama and her little baby chicks. So fluffy and cute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She got seven. Damn girl. So this is the entrance and it says, thanks to your support, the view will always be as great as the surf. I don't know how to pronounce that. Pupu Kia Palmalu is now permanently protected. Great. So this is the entrance to the hike. It's great that the first part's shady, but we're actually gonna be climbing the mountain. So we've got water bottle in hand. So it said on the sign when you come in to watch out for animals. Ty's pretty scared of snakes, but they have a little picture of a pig and some little paw prints. So 
we'll try and be quiet so we don't disturb the animals too much while we're hiking you can already hear lots of rustling in the grass this hike's a little bit more intrepid i didn't see it when i was researching hikes to do but when i looked on the map i saw it as a trail so here we are We just got back uh, down from the hike and we really enjoyed it. It was super steep on the way up. Probably took us about 30 minutes on the way up and only about 15 minutes on the way down. Uh, but we stayed at the top for quite some time and we saw whales, which was incredible. It was so beautiful. Uh, and they were splashing about. We saw two. They were splashing about for quite some time. I couldn't really get any footage of it and I just wanted to enjoy it as well. Uh, we just picked up a cold drink because uh, we ran out of water right at the end of the hike. Uh, we're going to stay on the North Shore for a little while. We're going to Sunset Beach now to read our books and just chill out and then watch the sunset at Sunset Beach. Uh, and then going to have some dinner on the North Shore before getting uh, back into Waikiki. We're going to go to the grocery store uh, because we've already smashed through our snacks and our fruit. So we want to get some more fresh fruit and also just some snackies maybe a, a different mayonnaise because that one was disgusting or actually we loved the pesto today on our sandwiches so i reckon we should get some pesto what do you reckon yeah pesto that pesto was the best though and i'm really vibing it at the moment Got a veggie peanut satay curry with tofu, tofu pad thai. That looks so good. So good. Good morning. We are up in Adam today. We found a free park last night instead of parking in the parking garage, um, which we can do tonight. It's just like a flat fee, and you can't reserve. You just kind of rock up, and if there's parks, you pay a flat fee for either 24 hour period or for a week. But there was a free park really close to our accommodation, but you have to clear it between 8.30 to 11.30. So we've got up early so that we can get some breakfast in, get ourselves packed and just organized for the day. Uh, today we're gonna do two hikes because they're short hikes and we're gonna split them uh, into two parts of the day. So we try to avoid the heat of the day. So a we'll hike this morning, then some lunch and then chill around and then a hike this afternoon. Uh, that is the loose plan. Um, I went to the grocery store, we ended up not going to the food trucks last night on the North Shore because they shut after sunset. So um, I'm not sure if that was just a Sunday thing. So we'll maybe try another night or just go there for lunch or something. Uh, but we ended up going to the supermarket. I picked up some pesto. So the sandwiches are packed and ready to go for today so that I don't have to um, get lunch while we're out today. Uh, and especially because we can just like have lunch at the top of the hike if we really want to. there's quite a few cars around but I think the shorter hikes this one's only about an hour long so I think the shorter hikes actually attract more people obviously because it's a lot more appealing to do with families to do like a shorter hike and a lot of people aren't into hiking but just want to see the beautiful views uh, so I think the one we're doing this afternoon might be a little bit longer uh, I've got our water bottles we didn't decide to bring the pack with us to take snacks and things because it is pretty short so it looks quite steep a bit of a grind Oh, it's paved. So if it's paved, of course, that's going to attract more people. And what the one we did yesterday was like super intrepid, mud, roots, like you had to like hold onto a rope in some stages. Like, yeah, so this one looks like it may be, even though there's a little bit of an uphill climb, a bit easier than yesterday. So we finished our hike we didn't find it too difficult it was really beautiful but because the whole thing was paved and gradual it was like yeah 
we found it pretty breezy uh, but such a beautiful view from the top and we saw whales again which was awesome uh, some really beautiful viewpoints so highly recommend that hike and it took us like under an hour so uh, we're just going to which beach are we nearby? Uh, Lani Kai. Lani Kai. And now we're going to Nalu Health Bar and Cafe just to get like a little smoothie. We just left Lanikai Beach and the area of Kailua is so cool. If it's even possible, I feel like I like it more than the North Shore. Uh, I just loved the area. It Like when we were down by the beach, there's not a lot of public parking. So it discourages, I guess, like a ton of people from being there. And um, even though the beach was still busy, it was just gorgeous. And I had my first ocean swim uh, since like, being in New Zealand because most of the swimming I've done in Canada is all in freshwater lakes so that was my first time being in the ocean yeah in a couple of years which is crazy it was so beautiful the sand was white uh, I mean you would have seen from the video sand was white and the water was just so blue so that was amazing uh, we are currently just heading back to our ACOM gonna have a shower we were gonna do that second hike today but as it's just like the heat of the day and I just didn't think it was just the best for my energy levels to smash out another hike, even though it's not that long. So we're gonna do that one in the morning. We're just going through some tunnels, which is why the lighting keeps changing. Uh, but yeah, we're just heading back into Waikiki now, but then we're just gonna kind of do a hot turn and head back out. <laughs> Someone's been. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ty was being sun safe today, but unfortunately, after he came in the water, he didn't reapply, and so he's a bit burnt to slap, slap and wrap. Slip, slip, folks. slap and wrap. That's what they used to say in the like ads on TV in New Zealand. Uh, we've just been relaxing this afternoon. I had a little bit of a headache, so when we came home just before six, we've just been chilling. I was reading my book. I'm already like 58% through my book. I've really been enjoying it, uh, and. Yeah, we've ordered some food, we've ordered some salads, and I got a fruit bowl as well. And we're probably just gonna eat that here at the hotel. We kind of like, we've been getting up really early. We've been getting up at about quarter to six every morning, sometimes 5.30, because that's um, 8.30 Vancouver time. And so we've been getting up relatively early and kind of attacking the day. So by the end of the day, late by 9 p.m., we're completely exhausted. And that's where we're at today. So, just gonna rehydrate and spend some chill time, eat some food and maybe just watch a movie or something like that because tomorrow we're getting up and we're doing the hike that we didn't do today. Uh, so that would be awesome because I really, I like, I saw the base of the hike and it has an incredible view, but it's really steep and I definitely wanna do it at the cooler part of the day. <laughs> 